Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. Today, we're finally getting into a room tour. I thought this would be a fantastic idea. One, I promised you guys a room tour from a long time ago, but I want to see your room. I want to see your collection. If you've got a bookshelf like this, if you've got like a whole room, if you've got whatever your collection is, do you collect a certain type of Pokemon? Do you have a really cool card collection? Do you have an awesome display? I want to see it. I want to see your collection. So if you would like to have your collection featured on the channel, there's some simple instructions down in the description to follow. I'm hoping I could do this like monthly, put together maybe like three to five different setup, put it out there for people to appreciate. Uh, I really want to get this going. I think this would be really fun just to kind of like show off. What's your personality with your setup? Who's your favorite Pokemon? Like what, like there's so much to collect out there. So I want to see it. So kicking it off, here's my room tour. Starting it off with the shelves, you guys see these all the time in the background of my videos, in the background of uh, when we do the little close-ups, in the background of the news. So up top, I do have the gallery figures from PokemonCenter.com. Just some of my favorites. Uh, I have quite a few. Um, haven't really changed them out too much, but they are up there. Then just some tins. I like showing off the Hidden Fates tins. Just they're a classic, you know, like we got to keep them up there on display. Otherwise, again, I have some of my other favorites, uh, like my Sylveon up there, but also just some, some sealed collection. So kind of something to look out for. Uh, down in those larger shelves, I do have Charizard and Pikachu kind of showing off with some ETBs that they are featured on. In the middle though, I just put this together. Uh, we've got our Battle Academy box back there, but I also wanted to showcase some like just more classic items. So I've been into Pokemon for quite some time and really wanted to showcase some things from the history. So one, we've got the very first movie on VHS. We've got that there. There's also the badge book on there. That came from tournaments uh, playing at Toys R Us. Uh, this was like 20 years ago now that I think about it, but uh, just old school before we had cell phones. That was how we kept track of our wins and our progress uh, during all of our battles got some of the Pokemon Go badges on here as well. Uh, some figures, some of them are collectibles from like pre-ordering Platinum or Soul Silver. I've got those up there and as well as like a Mew and a Chansey that I uh, got from just some, some other purchases in the past. Got some booster boxes on display as well as a bunch of Funko Pops. On that last shelf there, I do have the Sword and Shield Zashian and Zamazenta collection as well as some figures from other uh, card collection promo boxes then the ruby and sapphire holographic coins showing those off got those from uh, target i believe if i remember right uh, pre-ordering ruby and sapphire back on the game boy advance so throwing it back uh, i've also got just an assortment of etbs there at the bottom just some stuff i can kind of swap in and out but this is my setup for now i uh, recently just changed it for the new year off to the side i'm sure you can kind of see there is the pokeballs on these little shelves just got those from 3m so they're pretty slick uh, they were kind of easy to just to put up there with the 3M tape, but perfect size to hold up some Pokeballs. Also usually seen in the background of my videos is my TV, my whole entertainment setup right there. This is like the only place in the room that I have kind of some extra stuff because I love Harry Potter, I love Star Wars um, in addition to Pokemon. So there are a couple things hidden in there, but mostly we've got the Nintendo Switch, we've got the PlayStation, uh, we've got the controller charging, we've got Wobbuffet hanging out, serving his duty up there on top of the controller charger. Uh, we've got our Pokeball Plus, a uh, bunch of Amiibos that I've collected. Uh, there's a couple more that I need to get, but still pretty happy with the collection. Taking it over to the computer setup, this is actually, uh, this has been brought up a couple times in the comments. This is my station right here where I do all of the editing, do a lot of the management of the account as well as work. So this is a dual laptop setup. Uh, we've got my MacBook over there for work as well as my Asus ZenBook for more personal uh, projects. Then I uh, recently just got this new monitor stand up here, so it's looking uh, looking a little bit better. We've got our Logitech keyboard and mouse. Not really a tech channel, but uh, I know you guys have kind of asked about it before, so just throwing that in there. Part of the room that really doesn't get a lot of attention is actually the couch. Uh, it's a burrow couch, and I've kind of just put all of my plushies back there, just kind of creeping, uh, just peeking over the top of the cushions there. And right above them, some wonderful art. Uh, my girlfriend actually got me these for my birthday. 
and we got those framed lined up looking pretty slick one of the very few things i have up on the walls actually that feels like it's the most put together part of the walls moving on the coup de gras we've got the card opening setup so i haven't really ever shown this off before so it's kind of funny yeah this is where i do all of the card openings uh, we've got our led lights showing off we've got the backboard you guys see everything that kind of changes on there uh, as time goes on with the openings, but usually off to the side, I do have a stack of cards because I'm always sorting cards. Uh, but off to the right, I usually keep the code cards. I keep the sleeves that I'm using, but the background always changes. The back board is actually a piece of wood that we stained. Uh, we stained that black and grabbed the sleeves from the trainer's toolkit because they're fantastic, they make a cool background. Then we just uh, used some double-sided adhesive and stuck them on, so pretty simple. I'll link all of my gear down in the description if you guys are looking to start your own Pokemon channel, if you guys are looking to upgrade some stuff. I'll give you guys some links so you can check those out. This is my room, this isn't all of it. The entryway is a mess. So maybe down the line when I have a little bit more time to work on uh, setting all of that other stuff up, I'll hopefully have that together for you to kind of show that off. But getting into the next setup, this one actually comes from my friend Matt. And he's got a pretty clean setup. He uses this setup for kind of like productivity work, he does a bit of gaming on the side as well here. Uh, it's just, it's kind of a multi-purpose room. So he's got his computer set up in there. He's beefing that up. He's he's a PC gamer, elite gamer, race, whatever they whatever they say. I'm, I'm more of a console gamer. Uh, he's got a great setup over there with his desk. He's got actually got like this cool shrine showcasing some of his more favorite hits. He loves Gyarados, so that's awesome to see. Uh, but also we do have a little bit of Charizard love. And he's actually framed the jumbo cards, which looks great. His cable management also is way better than mine. So hats off to you Matt uh, your setups looking great we've got some good RGB in there we got all the lights and everything really nice setup so thank you guys so much for joining me on my first video showing off Pokemon collections again if you want your collection showed off onto the channel simple instructions down in the description and I really want to make this like a monthly thing I want to be able to get like three to five collections put it together so really like pretty up your displays like let's do this let's let's show off to everybody i think this is going to be really cool thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today hopefully you had a good time checking out some of this collection and uh what other people are doing so be sure to leave comments down below what you liked what you didn't like what could be better do you have something cooler and take care of each other out there and i'm gonna see you very soon on the next one